Hi everyone, today we'll be doing a, a performance comparison test uh, for the open world multiplayer AI spawn system to see if it can be useful for you and to show you what the difference in performance can be. So, stat gain, stat unit, so you can have a look at the stats. This is in editor, so there's going to be some extra time on game. I'm also recording, so you know. Uh, FPS currently is limited, in editors limited to 120 FPS, but in a build I get 200 plus, so you, you know what I would have right now. Uh, we can run around, so you can look at the game time is around 4.9, 5.2, yeah. Uh, blueprint time, you can see that here, a maximum around 0 0.20, 22, and average around 0 0.11 milliseconds. Now, I don't do anything on tick, so uh, that's nice. Uh, let's drag in some spawn points now that we know how it performs without anything going on. Spawn area. So where can they spawn? When should they spawn? So second. Uh, what are we spawning? We'll do 20. Pretty big group. Zombies. Now this level is pretty small. Uh, but I'll come back with a statement regarding that later. First we'll have a look at this. One there, one there. One here, there. Um, and there. Why not? So now we're going to select them all. And set their spawn distance to something really big. Oh, that's not really big. This is really big. So now basically we're gonna have a small hitch probably, maybe not because they're being spawned in uh, groups, not all at the same time. And then it will settle down and performance will be, well, far from perfect. We can now see an average uh, blueprint time of two milliseconds. Uh, the world tick time has gone up a lot. That's just uh, you know, the AI stuff. There's nothing on tick really, but uh, Character movements taking up a lot, as you can see. That's just all AI things you can expect. The game milliseconds is now hovering around 28 to 30. And if we toggle the debug camera, um, uh, so debug camera, we can fly around and we can see that the entire place is populated with AI roaming. And that's uh, having a pretty big performance impact, something you wa would want to avoid. So we'll close this out, we'll select all the spawn points, and we'll set their number to something more reasonable, it's 3400. So now they're not always going to be there, they only appear when you're there. When, when the area or the AI is relevant, basically, otherwise they do not exist. And we can already see we're back to 120 FPS, back to a game time of uh, around 5 milliseconds, 5.2, blueprint time 0 0.11 with uh, maximum 0 0.2. Now as we see, as we go here, you can see that the, the world tick time goes up a little bit and the game time goes up, that's because a big group of zombies just spawned in here. But we're still maintaining uh, the high performance. So now I'm gonna toggle the debug camera again to show you only, there's only AI over here because that's where we are. The rest is not there. It's not e they don't even exist yet. So uh, that will allow you to save a lot on performance. Because this is multiplayer, of course, um, there are some things you have to keep in mind. This is not a very big map. So if you, if this is your uh, map for, I don't know, some competitive FPS game with people everywhere in this arena you can't really do this because you're still gonna have all the all the AI everywhere these spawn locations if they're all activated you're still gonna have the AI you could of course add a uh, you could of course have a maximum amount that can be in the world and have some logic for add some logic for that it's not supported by default but it's not hard to enter but it, this would be perfect for like a co-op game where you travel through the map you can just you don't need to set up s spawn zones or anything like that. You can just drag, dra drag in the spawn points and it will, that will take care of the whole process for you. Uh, it would also be 
it's very fitting for a big open world game. So if you have like a really huge area and you have so many places players can be, um, and then the system will come in very handy. Uh, but outside of that, if you're gonna have small smaller areas, um, you still need to optimize your AI and to take care of priority replication, all that sort of stuff. Um, more info in the other videos. I hope this uh, showed you that what this could potentially do for you and uh, good luck with your projects.